Good day everyone. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to code and get the grade status of the given grade equivalent. Okay, so from the previous video, we have demonstrated how to code and get the grade equivalent based on the given tentative grade. Now, the output that we'll be expecting here is that once the user calculate or clicked on the calculate button, not only the grade equivalent will be calculated, but also the grade status. Okay, so for this, let's go to the blocks editor and we will create a new procedure. Okay, so for this one, let's rename this into status. And we'll have a condition, okay? We'll actually have three conditions. So let me put here two else if. And the first condition that we should code here is that if the text of the tentative grade or the grade equivalent is invalid, then the grade status should also be invalid. Next, if the grade equivalent is equal to 5.0, then the grade status should be failed. And last, if the grade equivalent is equal to 1.0 until up to 3.0, then the grade status should be passed. Okay, so let's now code it. We'll have a comparison code here. If the grade equivalent, okay, let's get the text of the grade equivalent. Oops. If the grade equivalent text, okay, is equal to invalid data, then we should set the status text into invalid data. Next, if the grade equivalent is equal to 5, so let's have a value here, is equal to 5, then the status text should be failed. And last, if the grade equivalent is equal to or greater than 1, then the status text should show past. Okay? But before we proceed on the testing, we should call first the procedure. If we click on the calculate button, not only the procedure in calculating the grade equivalent okay, should be executed, but also the procedure for getting the status. So from this one, we'll get call status. Okay, so let's try the program. Say for example, 109. The grade equivalent should be invalid and the grade status should also be invalid. Say for example, 100, it should be 1.0 here and then passed. Okay, what if 76? It should also be passed. I, okay, sorry, it's 106, the input is 176. So the program gave us a correct execution invalid data. What if the input is 76? Okay, 3.0 and it's still passed. What if 74? This should be 5.0 and the status should be failed. Okay, so we have coded the program correctly. So I hope you have learned from this demonstration. Thank you for listening and God bless everyone.